Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox Android. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to implement a view pager, the latest one that is view pager 2 into our Android application, right? So let me just give you a demonstration what we're gonna get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, we have this nice cart view, right? Inside which we have one image, a heading and a description. So if I just left swipe it, so you can see, we can navigate through various items and it does give a nice look to our app right so if you want to learn how to implement this make sure you watch this video till the end so without much ado let's get started so guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing the notification of the upcoming videos and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well so first thing first let us design the front end so i'll just come to my main activity so here first we'll take a text view so i'll constrain it horizontally and to the parent as well So let me set certain attributes for this. So now we're gonna implement a view pager. So let me search view pager, drag it here. I will constrain it to the parent. So let us set the height to wrap content. Now we'll take a button. This will just be a dummy button. Constraint it horizontally. And the bottom as well. So now let me go to the split window and set certain attributes. okay guys we have designed this main activity inside which we have implemented this view pager now to feed the data in this view pager we're gonna make a child item for this so let me create a new layout resource file and we'll name it as view pager item So one thing that I want to emphasize on that for this layout you have to set the root element width and height as match parent. If you set it to something else then it will give an error. So make sure the root element has match parent attributes right. So we'll give it a margin of 16 dp. So let me quickly design this item right then I'll let you know what we have done right.
so okay guys we need certain resources for this so first we need certain images then the string resource files so let me go to my local drive copy these and paste it to the drawable folder okay let me set the source for this as a okay and if we go to our strings xml let me copy certain strings i'll also put the link for this file in the description if you want to implement the same you can do that it's just a random text so let me set the text here as well so here you can see we have got a card view right So that is all we need to do in the front end part. So let us go to the back end code. So to feed the data here, we need three sources, the image, the heading and the description. So to contain that data, we need an object class. So let me create a Java class and we'll name it as view pager item. So inside this, we need a int variable. We'll name it as image ID. Two string variables heading and description right so we need a constructor for this right click generate constructor select all the three items and done we have created object class now if you think in a way the view pager is almost same like a recycler view but with some modified features right so we need an adapter for that to feed the data so let me create a new java class and we'll name it as vp adapter that is view pager adapter so this adapter will be same as the recycler view adapter in fact we're going to extend recycler view adapter class only right so if you know how to implement the recycler view adapter you are good to go and in case you do not know how these things work i have a dedicated video on that you can check out that video i'll put the link in the description so i'm not gonna go to the details of this thing i will just quickly implement this so vp adapter dot okay, now we'll create this in the class view holder and this will extend the cycle dot view holder right so just click here alt enter data constructor click here all enter implement methods we can implement all the three methods right so now this adapter will take a array list right that will contain the objects of view pager item this class right name it let us create a constructor for this class as well generate constructor click ok right now inside this return view pager adapter list dot size so inside this view holder will refer all to all the three elements image view heading and the description so let me quickly do that okay here we have referred to all the three elements now we're gonna go to on create view holder right so here we'll create the object of view class name it as view only so as usual layout inflator dot from we'll pass the context here parent dot get context dot inflate r dot layout dot view pager item parent and false so we'll return this 
new object of view holder and will give this so the last method we need to overwrite is on bind view holder so here we'll create object of view pager item name it as view pager item only and we'll get it from the array list dot get and we'll pass the position here so we'll get the current element so now we're gonna set all the three things image view heading and the description so let me quickly do that okay guys we have successfully implemented this adapter so let me go to there is some error here what is the error okay we need semicolon here so now we'll go to main activity so we'll create a reference variable for view pager to and we will create an array list that will contain the elements of view pager item class so done and let me quickly refer to this view pager using find view by id now will contain a array of int type that will contain the ids of images now this string array that will contain the name of the headings done with the heading now last array will be of description done now let us initiate the array we'll use a for loop to put the data inside this array list let me quickly do that So okay we have added all the data using this for loop to this array list right now we'll create object of our adapter class so vp adapter is equal to new vp adapter and we'll pass this array list as an argument right so now we need to set certain attributes to our view pager the first one is adapter So okay guys we are done with the code now let me quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen so if i just left swipe this so you can see 
we have successfully implemented this view pager to our android app so i guess you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username is there on your screen right now i'll also put the link for the source code in the description below you can check out that source code as well and in case you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for today's video see you another video bye